Hey folks, Dave here, and I am ending our accidental World War One theme this week with a look at a brand new World War One FPS title, Asanzo. This game is all about the lesser known battles in World War One on the Italian front, up there in the Alps. And it's developed by the same crew behind the excellent indie FPS titles based around the Western and Eastern fronts in World War One, Verdun and Tannenberg. Having played and really enjoyed both of those previous games, to see what these devs have pulled off here with Asanzo, with a huge leap in overall quality for the entire game, but especially the overall polish and graphics fidelity, it's just really cool to see how far they've come with this World War I game series. And let's also not forget the ridiculous amounts of cosmetics now also available in-game. Just check out these glorious mustaches. While Asanzo leans towards the more realistic, tactical-style FPS games, there's definitely some Battlefield series inspiration here. Much like Hell at Loose, Asanzo has a fast time to kill while remaining an overall accessible version of the war. There are three battle operations that you can play, which contain six very different maps, many of them featuring high altitude locations, but a wide variety of them. You've got bare alpine peaks, you have assaults up and down river valleys, and you also have some city areas as well, both war-torn and just lightly touched by the war. There's a little bit of everything map-wise here, and it's very different looking for a World War I game because of these locations for these battles. It's a lot more colorful, and like I said, in some cases, the locations aren't totally cratered like the moon, as was pretty common during the war. Really, I think the only weakness in the game is that the sound design falls a little bit flat overall. Gunshots are sharp, but don't really have a lot of environment sound to them. The sound effects are short and a little bit abrupt, and even with an entire server of 48 players blazing away, it doesn't sound quite as dynamic as, say, Battlefield 1 or Beyond the Wire, another FPS game that I just reviewed last week. Other ambient sounds though, like the soldier voice lines and the background music, as well as the main menu music with all kinds of Italian World War I themes roaring away, all of the other sound effects are quite good. I just wish that the in-game soundscape was a little more dynamic. Gameplay wise though, I think these devs have really managed to hit an excellent in-between of a full tactical milsim game and something like Battlefield 1 and its rush game mode. The operations here are accessible, but still very tense because of that more realistic and faster time to kill. In summary, I came away from my preview time with this game really, really impressed with how far they've come again with this game series. I think the gameplay speaks for itself. So here's some live gameplay of me playing an operation during a preview for the game last week. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, his flare baby look. Got him. His angle there right to the trenches, but I gotta push up to the objective here. Uh, one frag would end all of us. You will charge! I should give my teammates a little bit of a, a buff, I think. He had quite a hat. Oh, here come the frags. Right, right behind him. Oh, I'm hit. Oh. Well, we capped at least. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> that was awkward. Caught with my bugle out. Let's try assault with a machine gun here. I haven't tried a full auto weapon yet. I imagine it's. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, this is going to be bipod required. Unless you're going to put it right in their ear. That worked out. Ah, oh, we lost the area. I do like this spot, though. Someone just took a headshot right next to me. Sights bounce like crazy. That's definitely a burst fire weapon. A lot of fun, though. Let's try again. Uh, we'll defend this, this bunker complex here. Oh, yeah, look at this spot. Already getting sniped at, though. Oh, that was a kill. Oh, that was a kill, too. Machine gun sniper here. And there's the bounce. Yeah, one tapping is the way to go to this range. This is apparently a great spot. Each time they peek. Tap, tap, tap. Walked that last shot into his head. That was lucky. I'll move up just a bit. Change angles before I get sniped in the face. Of course, my head's poking out more here. Ping. I keep thinking my left post is my front post. It's very distracting how it bounces. Oh, he's close. That's not a good sign. <laughs> or that. Alright, point blank. Not bad. I probably shouldn't peek here, but... There it goes. Yep, they're pushing up in the smoke. Oh, shots. Oh, caught me. Whoa. As the airstrike comes in. Gas is down. And a dead machine gunner. This is a terrible idea. I want to try it. Here they come. Oh, he got, he got melted. Oh, man. I see him wiggling. I don't know if they're throwing the frags or smokes. Some accurate fragging there. Look at that. I think the bunker saved me. Oh, hit. Oh, did he push the bunker? Was that already? I can't tell. Lots of gas coming down. And airstrikes. Seeing those planes flying so low is pretty terrifying. You're about to get bomblets strapped all over you. Oh, this is smoke and gas. Oh! These guys looked terrifying in those gas masks. It is wild down here in these trenches. Oh! Oh, the. the Artie took his leg! Ah, <laughs> oh, clean. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Got with my bandage out again. Yeah, they're going to take this one, I think. Oh, we're getting pushed all the way down. 
I'm gonna go up the hill just a bit. Try to get their attack from the side here because we still have a, a single capture point up here, it looks like. Yep, caught one. Oh yeah, respawn wave. That got intense. Yeah, here they come. It's gonna fall back a little bit because they're capping A already on the uh, left side here. That's one of our snipers. Scope, look at that. Fancy toys. <laughs> World War One. Hair shots from yep. Yeah, we got multiple buildings here occupied. Clear. No idea shots. Oh, yeah. Machine gun. Oh. Machine gun up here somewhere. Oh, cut him reload in the Villa Perosa. That can come off now. Come. Yeah. Um, oh, you respawned and just nailed the building. This river crossing is awesome looking. Oh, I saw your flare. There you are. Hard to aim with Artie. They found my bush spot there. Right, we got a church and a half destroyed town here, it looks like. Assault with the pistol again. Yep. They're pushing already. In the back point. Party, I think. Push it up in gas and smoke here. They're all here already. Yeah, cheeky revolver headshot. And you, bud, you got this. What a choke point. Oh, and they are out of respawns. Man, this map looks good. And that was a wild fight. That really reminded me of Battlefield 1 Operations, just with a, a hardcore uh, style to it. This HUD looks great, too, overall. A lot of fun, and I am really impressed.